The Transport Minister insists the government has not caved to public pressure by scrapping a plan to build a road through Rymel Park. A new design for the $160 million Oban extension unveiled today, only months after the last one. For months, angry East End residents, traders, even the Adelaide City Council have fought state government plans to build a new road through Rymel Park as part of the Oban extension. The previous plan would have decimated Rymel Park with a four-lane dual carriage highway right across the whole park. Today, the plan changed. No, it's not a backflip. We listen to what that consultation is telling us and we have listened and we have refined the plan. Transport Minister Stephen Mulligan releasing a new concept for the second time in only four months. Following some refinements, uh, we've been able to address what I think is a, a very broad range of uh, community and stakeholder concerns. The busway tunnel, which will run under the parklands to connect Hackney Road with Grenfell Street, will be 140 metres longer. Rundle Road will now be kept rather than returned to parklands, but narrowed to one lane. By altering the treatment of Rundle Road and also altering the treatment of East Terrace, we're able to increase parking in the East End. This is the fourth plan that this government has had in four years. Every time we have a new iteration of this plan, it costs the taxpayers. The Lord Mayor welcoming the rethink. We believe that it's a considerably better outcome uh, for the parklands and for the community um, than what we otherwise would have had. Rory McLaren is live in the city. Rory, the Oban announcement comes as the government tackles a more pressing public transport issue. Yeah, it certainly does, Brenton. What will happen tomorrow is, well, the tram drivers are going on strike. They're walking off the job for four hours in the middle of the day as they work towards creating a new EBA with the state government, of course, an enterprise bargaining agreement, that is. Now, the trams will stop running at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and they'll resume at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon with full services along the tram line expected to get it back up to normal by about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, during the industrial action, there will be substitute buses running the entire length of the tram line. Now, there is also the prospect of more industrial action on the horizon. Now, not only are the tram drivers also in negotiations with the state government about a new EBA, the train drivers are as well. So it's a wait and see to see if there's any more on the horizon. Brenton? All right, Rory, thank you.